Hi, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Chatter About the Chatter. Uh, I'm your host, Cuddy Cudworth. Um, the goal of Monkey Mind Relaxation isn't to control your thoughts and emotions. It's not to let your thoughts and emotions control you. Uh, but today we've got a fabulous, and I mean fabulous podcast. I have to say uh, this might be one of the uh, most beneficial and beautiful stories that we are going to hear from our guest speaker today, which is Nalini. Now, I want to make sure I say this right, Nalini, uh, Ashwin, all the way from India. And the, the <laughs> place that you are from is Baroda. Yes. Originally from Bangalore, but you have moved down to Baroda, which is the west of India. Absolutely. Look at <laughs> the smile Bangalore. on your face, Nalina. Look at that <laughs> smile. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That is amazing. I am so grateful for you to come and do this podcast. You have a beautiful story, an emotional story to share, uh, very emotional. And I think there's good, you know, in a world where things can go wrong and we have ups and downs and we have absolute tragedy in people's lives and how, how do some people get past those tragedies and how do people stay stuck? Um, once we got to chat uh, uh, previously, actually, it was on the, po the positive mindset course that I, I, I run. You, you got to share a few yes. of your stories. It was. Yes. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I, was, I just thought, do you know what? We need to get this story out there, Nalini. So it's a beautiful story. It's a, tra it's a tragic story, Nalini, but you are here smiling. And that's something we want to talk about. Uh, let's, let's start, not way back, let's start right now because I had to wait to get you as a, on the podcast because, Nalini, you have just been finishing some exams, some big exams. Uh, yeah, exams, but I don't know whether it is big or small, but yes, of course, for me, it is big. So I finished my uh, exams. Uh, it is Master of uh, that Psychology, right. Master of Arts, MA Psychology, uh, like uh, theory exams I finished and they went well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, and you yeah. had, did you have some more exams? Was it not just psychology? Was, was, did, was this another exam you had to take as well? Uh, no, no, it is only psychology. Psychology, psychology yeah. exam, yes, yes. Brilliant, absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, you are also a transformational life coach for uh, multidisciplinary, I'll have you know as well. Yes, but when yes. you say multidisciplinary, what is your multidiscipline? Because you do so many exams and so many uh, things to enhance your life. What, yes. what is the multidisciplinary then? What does that mean? Yeah, multidisciplinary means that I have skills. That is, I have studied uh, many modalities like uh, CBT, Life Coach, NLP Master, and uh, uh, REBT. And also I'm energy healer, I'm a Reiki master, and I have uh, done EFT, TFT tapping, that is master and meditation teacher. So I can go on and on, but <laughs> yes, uh, it, that's why it is multiple, multiple uh, disciplines, yeah. uh, you know, many subjects. I'm, I'm fascinated by these uh, subjects. And uh, so I'm, uh, I was always interested in these uh, psychology related subjects. So that's why I just I study and I just love to uh, know more and more and still so many are they still to learn. So that is what is uh, multidisciplinary. Yeah. Brilliant. Nalini, this is fascinating. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, you work mainly with ladies in India, but with the world as the internet is, you can work with anybody online, obviously, because you've, you've got the, the, the internet for those connections. Um, uh, but you have come from a place of Monkey mind relaxation, as we've talked about, is, and I know you did the positive mindset course uh, and uh, how to change your mindset and make those positive changes in your life. Um, especially when it comes to mindset, a lot of people say, well, how can you remain positive when there's so many things that don't go well in life and when there's so much tragedy in life? <laughs> and you were the shining example of, by the way, thank you very much for doing that, the, the course that you did with us for a month. It was, thank you, Nalini. Thank you for taking part in that as well. But how everybody's very quick to say, well, you can't remain positive when there's so much tragedy around. Mm -hmm. So... Share with our listeners, and this is going to be extremely powerful. Let's let's go back to how many years ago is it now, Nalini? 
uh, four years back. Four years. More back. than four tell years. Tell us, <clears throat> tell our listeners, and tell, tell. I mean, tell me the story again, because I mean, it just it breaks my heart. I'll be honest with you, but it's a beautiful story to see where you are now, Nalini. It's it's phenomenal. So, Nalini, t- take us back to four years. What happened? Yeah, before going there, first of all, I want to congratulate you for uh, that putting up that uh, awesome course, Positive Mindset. I <laughs> I participated in it and it was it is really, really uh, amazing course and you are so good, so good, uh, Kadi, for putting uh, that uh, course and allowing me and many of us uh, to take part in that. Not a problem. So, yeah, congratulations for that and thank you. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, about my uh, like uh, four years back, uh, yeah, I lost my son. Mm-hmm. And uh, so actually, uh, we were trying uh, for many years for uh, that conception. And finally, we uh, like I got pregnant and it was very difficult pregnancy for me. Uh, uh, for almost two months, I was uh, bedridden. That is... Uh, I was advised by the uh, specialist uh, doctors that I should be uh, resting on the bed only, like literally bed. So on the bed for two months and uh, it was really, I I don't want to, you know, uh, cutting it short. Uh, So it was difficult pregnancy and uh, and all through this uh, drama and everything. Like finally I gave birth to um, uh, my son and uh, it was premature uh, uh, delivery and I had this uh, surgery and uh, doctors told that either we can save mother or uh, the child it was so uh, critical and uh, and luckily both survived <clears throat> so both survived and uh, so I was uh, like uh, uh, for one one day I did not see my son I, I didn't know because of that uh, Anastasia and everything and uh, they had taken him to uh, this ICU NICU so because uh, he was premature baby and he was less than uh, I think 180 less than 180 how many pounds I don't know how to convert but uh, yeah he was very small and he was put in that ICU and I was not allowed to see him because they were in different hospitals and so my, I was so uh, you know eager to see and uh, and then finally, when I saw him, my heart broke, uh, you know, uh, I saw him, him in uh, ICU with all those uh, needles, so many needles, and he was so tiny. And, uh, you know, you, I, I, I was so emotional and uh, it was really a very testing time for us. And uh, he was there for almost one month in the ICU. So I, every day, like uh, doctors told me that I have to take rest uh, because of that cesarean surgery. But still, I uh, I wanted to see my son and and for my sake, you know, I wanted to uh, look at him and uh, be with him. So I was going there uh, and I used to go uh, after midnight because so uh, then they, they used to allow me for some time. Mm. Um, not many patients were there. So I used to wake up till that. And 12, 12.30 a.m., I used to go and uh, as much as possible, I used to spend with him. I used to sing to him and I used to pray. And as I'm Reiki uh, master, I used to give Reiki and uh, whatever I can do uh, to just connect with him. And he was responding. He was responding and that was beautiful time. So many days passed and the doctors did not... Uh, uh, say that they, they, they did not promise me anything. They were uh, giving caution also that please don't uh, uh, that uh, build that connection attachment because you never know because you know we cannot guarantee that how like so many uh, complications are there. Mm-hmm. So but still as a mother I cannot uh, see that negative thing right. I cannot be say oh I am practical I am uh, that I have to look at the reality and I did not work that way. Uh, so as a mother, I was always positive that, uh, you know, I did not think about all these complications. I just, I was looking him, looking at him as a mother and this thing was going on. And after like 20, 24 days, finally doctors told that he has improved. And like in day or two, he will, they will be, he will be shifting to, uh, shifted to another, uh, that out of ICU, another thing is there, uh, adjacent to that. They finally, they said that is so positive thing has happened. So 
so we were overjoyed <laughs> that finally after these like it was like uh, you know uh, what did they call in uh, panesh or uh, that is uh, tapasya we say in uh, sanskrit tapas i i'm not getting the english word for that after that like kind of meditation and all that hard work and everything we put so finally <clears throat> excuse me and finally we were uh, so overjoyed and uh, so after like 2 3 hours uh, after midnight we a uh, call came from uh, the hospital that suddenly uh, he's uh, like you know again complications are uh, there and uh, they they he, he they are losing him so we had to go and they did not let me see him and uh, they said that as a mother she can't see you know only my uh, husband was allowed to see and they said like yeah uh, because of heart arrest that heart attack i he i he he was no more and i could not see him at the last time also because you know i can understand mm-hmm. the concern of the doctors and finally and i could not uh, you know at that moment i it was blank and i i did not believe what was happening and because you know all these days they did not uh, uh, give me any hopes mm-hmm. the day they gave hope everything was lost and i did not understand and somehow you know everything like so after that you uh, uh, i i did not sleep for many 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 days yes. because you know we were giving that blood platelets and everything like every day every night especially after 12 o'clock we were receiving these calls uh, asking us to come and collect these and give uh, this blood and platelets and all that really it was going on and that was ringing constantly all these uh, one month so what happened uh, every time that i uh, listen to <clears throat> i hear that uh, ringing sound of my mobile there is a phone i get uh, this uh panic attacks and i was uh, not liking it so i put it in on silent so for many many days i i put my phone on silent and uh, also at least for one month i did not sleep during night i cannot uh, sleep because everything same thing same thing comes and all these things you know all every time that i used to sing those songs they were reverberating echoing in my ears yeah all those songs and everything and it was difficult for me yes and i did not know how to uh, you know come and i did not want to if you ask me to be honest i did not want to come out of this so i was like deep 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 down the well Course. so finally you know what happened somehow like ha uh, huh, yeah and uh, my husband said yo oh, if if we are like this we, we should go out of this city you you'll be i think it, it is better for the, for us so uh, we went outside the city and for 10 to 12 days we we were not in this uh, state itself so we traveled we were moving moving and uh, we were traveling and that helped me because uh, you know uh, to be near nature yes. uh, that is my healing uh, i am a nature person yeah you know yeah so it helped me so to to somehow you know gather my uh, you know myself and uh, so i was uh, always a intuitive person and we were uh, traveling and all that i was uh, uh, looking you know uh, everyone has a different uh, uh method of uh, you know uh, yeah. coming yeah putting themselves together what i see is i am this person that if plan a doesn't work i have plan b c d <laughs> like that so many plans i have so i don't say that it did not work always it's not that like if you have a b c d plans it doesn't mean that a did, does not work mm-hmm. it's only that you have some options so when i uh, i was in this uh, uh, this thing uh, turmoil and all that i i was more into uh, this uh, prayers and all that and somehow i i got like uh, instinct that uh, i was uh, searching about 
instinctively about spirit babies and all that mm -hmm. so what i did i i i did not uh, like earlier i didn't know anything about spirit babies and these things so i just browsed and i i bought some books real uh, stories and all that like so it was giving me some strength i was uh, yeah having this thing like okay support system i was building support system around me i of course family friends everyone was there but i don't know uh, uh, instead of uh, getting support from outside i usually i usually what i do i seek support from myself within myself and uh, so yeah i read these books and all that and something like we were together doing me and my husband were together doing this meditation and all that so that was going on and like after we came back we did all those things and uh, i don't know whether some people will like people will believe or not i used to get these uh, things like feeling that like i am connected maybe because like i was so much thinking about my son i felt that uh, he's so like i have this connection with him so soul connection and uh, so i when i was like in the afternoons you know like a night i couldn't uh, i could not uh, sleep so in the afternoons i used to take a nap and i used to see him sit by uh, my side uh, that is a pillow like uh, my eyes were awake like like wide open so i felt like he was sitting beside me and and he was looking at me with like that beauty like uh, he was like 2 to 3 year old boy i could feel in my heart that okay he is my son he was looking at me with all that love and he was like uh, so like a divine and all that like somehow i got the signal that he is uh, like uh, pacifying me so he is telling me that don't uh, uh, like uh, cry and uh, don't uh, be in that only so please come uh, come outside out of that and look at the future and all those things like in my mind i don't know so i i felt that thing and also like continuously i used to get that like he used to be playing around here and so uh, somehow i felt that you know something some ray of hope i started uh, uh, thinking believing that okay he will be coming back in you know we we believe in these uh, birds you know so after someone uh, goes uh, that soul will take another body and if we we love or he he wants then he can come back so somehow i caught up that and i i i was uh, positive again i started uh, becoming more positive so thinking it's not uh, superstition I, i i would like to say that it is not superstition it's it's a belief or some hope something uh, a mother mother can uh, yeah any any uh, any person who has lost uh, his loved one can understand somehow uh, i felt that connection and uh, somehow i got the courage and started uh, again i i started uh, to uh, live you can say i started to live and uh, so then uh, then i started looking around and uh, i i have this uh, yeah i like to bake and all these things so i started baking and i uh, i i am a like a uh, artistic person and a creative person i started knitting and these things gardening and all those things you know so i i just uh, diverted my mind and i started doing all those things constructive things and uh, so um, like my mother and uh, husband everyone were okay <laughs> finally she is somehow <laughs> she is uh, doing some things at least she is uh, so she's okay they they started feeling that and uh, i i was uh, of course i was weeping inside and another thing i want to uh, <clears throat> tell the uh, like uh, audience that you should express uh, your grief you know and i did not express my grief take a breath so take a breath lady take a <laughs> yeah, breath of course. that was honestly I, uh... Uh, ranting <laughs> no you're not ranting you have just shared a beautiful story of loss yeah. and you have reframed it of how to turn it into a positive now this is not even nowhere near the ending of the story i just wanted you to take a break yeah. i wanted you to take okay. a breath and we will just yeah. recap a few of the things that you said there nalini which was beautiful mm. first of all 
the reincarnation. So that is to correct me if I'm wrong, but every time you see a bird, you feel like you're connected to your son. Of course. Of wow. Yes. Oh gosh. Right. Right. This, that's beautiful. That, that's beautiful. Yeah, that, so that's hold um, Nalini. That was a lovely way of wording, and we were just getting to talk to about the the part of you've got to express that grief. Of course. You didn't you express know, that grief. Right, right. I I did not express my grief. I am not uh, like maybe I ha I have this uh, nature that I don't usually express my grief grief like. Uh, like many years ago I lost my father also like after many years also that is uh, like suppressed uh, those emotions grief was there and about that my I lost my son and I did not express uh, the grief because I don't know I I don't uh, feel I don't think that uh, anybody else can support me around me whoever is there they they will not uh, it's my thing like maybe it is limiting belief or i don't know i have more uh, confidence in myself or less confidence in our own people so i don't express i did not express the grief mm -hmm. so what happened it got suppressed suppressed until now like last year i did not really realize that mm -hmm. so I did not realize that. And uh, but how did you, you know, start expressing your grief after you'd suppressed it for a while? What did you do? Huh. Yeah, uh, I I started doing this uh, session, like, uh, you know, uh, this uh, psychology. I joined psychology. Then I started understanding actual things. Like I was always uh, like fascinated by psychology. I started, you know, just again uh, for diverting sake and everything. Like I started uh, studying this and then I, when I started uh, learning things, then I realized that I am uh, suppressing my grief. Yeah. So I, and I did not know how to, uh, you know, uh, come over that. And uh, so I started, yeah, yeah, how to express and all those things. And, uh, and uh, I took uh, uh, support of a hypnotherapist. So I had few sessions, then I realized that I, I was, I did not know that it was because of grief. I was uh, always irritable and, uh, you know, frustrated. And uh, by the way, like uh, after uh, these uh, things happened in uh, 2018, uh, we, we adopted twin, twin boys. So, so hang on, uh... hang on, hold, 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 hold <laughs> out, because I know, I knew, I knew the ending of the story. But yes. I just want to let little snippets at a time, Nalini. <laughs> so you do yes. have now two beautiful twin boys, yes. is that correct? Yes, yes. So there's, for all our listeners, there's the hurrah! <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. So you've got yeah. two beautiful twins. Uh, so there was mm. another positive. If we hadn't gone through that, so yes. the, you wouldn't have this. You've got twice as much joy. Now, I know when people's going through those journeys and I know when people and we see that everything's going wrong and that there's nothing to support as being positive. We, we don't want to hear that, obviously. But so now you, you've gone through that tough time. You've now got these beautiful kids. This is brilliant. But how did you start acknowledging your grief? Yeah, before going there, let me say that it is not uh, nothing less than a miracle. The like how I got my twins. You know, earlier we had uh, only we were uh, like planning for like one was like a birth, uh, 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 like a biological child and one uh, adopting, like we will adopt. Later on when we lost, but then I was thinking about like we, I want uh, like siblings, like yeah. two, two uh, like uh, siblings I want to adopt and somehow like everyone agreed and they supported me and we changed. So we changed to that and uh, the next day itself, I saw in that, uh, like the, that government database, was there. I saw that the day I changed, the, the, these were available, like two, uh, like uh, boys of three months, uh, they were available, that is, uh, they were, so I was, so like, I always wanted twins and uh, it was destined and I was on the waiting list number one and uh, so it was so breeze, like, breeze you know i was all those suffering so like uh, two years suffering and it, it, it melted like a snow 
in the sunlight and and it was like miracle i did not believe that <laughs> so after uh, like 28 in uh, uh, october like september and like exactly like uh, three years back so around this time we brought them home and after that like it was like breeze like one year how one year two years passed i did not know i was so uh, involved in those like uh, these things like uh, uh, taking care of uh, the, my twins and all that so i did not know i used to get this i used to uh, have this uh, like i used to cry Suddenly, I used to cry and all that. I thought like maybe because of this overwhelm, like uh, twins are there, like two two children taking care of two children is not that easy. Yeah. So I was uh, yeah reasoning that it may be because of that. Then later on, after this like uh, like eight nine months back, I don't know. Like, I felt like I have to have uh, this uh, professional uh, uh, you know help. then uh, we started like uh, hypnotherapist i went to hypnotherapist and so we started doing this session and finally i got to know that uh, from where all these things are coming so uh, by the way hypnotherapy is very beautiful and uh, it, it's like 100% uh, you will get the result and uh, so it helped me a lot really so hypnotherapy was something that that worked for yes. you I know you talked about meditation as well and you felt that meditation opened up a lot of things for you. I'm a big fan uh, of meditation obviously. That's where monkey mind Ah, huh. yes. Well, I we yeah. talked about the monkey mind. It's it was a very old uh, buzz it's a Buddhist saying. I, I, that's how I learned mm-hmm. the teachings uh, was was through Buddhism and things like that. So, uh j- just to make for me to 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 get that clear, you adopted the twins. Yes. Perfect. Good stuff. That's lovely. So you have these I... twins. I can see your husband in the background on the computer. <laughs> okay, you can see him. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Bless him. He's going to stay out the yeah. corner. He's tried to move out of the way. That's hilarious. So you you've been on this <clears throat> roller coaster ride of life. <clears throat> of course. But you are now out in the other side, uh, which is in, into the, the the positive mindset into acknowledging mm. what's what's what what happened. what went on and how you've moved forward it's a beautiful story nalini yeah and uh, of course when you mentioned meditation of course thank you kadi i keep forgetting <laughs> my timeline and yes i also went to that 2017 the like uh, october november december 3 months i went for three or more uh, workshops one week workshops uh, this meditation i had this deep memory uh, thing uh, i don't remember these things deep memory uh, workshop and uh, meditation and one of them was like 5 uh, to 6 days we don't talk there it's complete silence so we used to get up early morning 5 5:30 and till 10:30 uh, we used to just meditation and meditation mm-hmm. and all that all those things really helped me and uh, when we were doing that that meditation helps in this way that when all this uh, stuffed up uh, emotions they start releasing when i was doing that like i used to like profusely the tears used to come too. and when i first started meditating i used to cry like a baby and i went straight back to the book and i'm like whoa this can't be normal no 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 this can't be yes. normal and that was the thing that happened with meditation is like no it's a release you are you, you allow yes. things to release through meditation and wow it does do wonders for the for the body yeah of course of course so it helped me yes all those uh, things when you meditate you are with yourself you are connecting with uh, this uh, you must be knowing uh, like you are, you meditate and yep. you have this inner divinity yep. you know divine everyone has that divinity and we connect with ourselves that is more important connecting with ourselves and inward journey that is more important and especially when we are down when we are down we we tend to go inward more and more and we yeah. have these insights and we we are uh, like enlightened and uh, you know what really what is uh, life you know if i hadn't these uh, things like tragedy and uh, sort of things like you can say like i'm not uh, uh, like uh, lessening the impact but still uh, you can say that th- those are all lessons you learn when you are happy and partying and you don't learn lessons 
It's true. You, you, <laughs> yeah. That is so true. What a lovely way. You don't learn any lessons when you're happy and you're at the party. It's it's yes. the, it's the pain and the, the hurt that gives you the biggest lessons. That if we can reframe that as a positive thing, then you you yeah you you are one hundred percent correct there. Yes, absolutely fantastic. So how do you work with ladies in India and all around yeah, the world? We, how, how are you working with ladies recently? Yes, and now because of this pandemic, mostly online. Online, I work with the, uh, and of course, some of these gents have also come as my clients, but majority you can say, and I don't know. Maybe I have this thing like I have connection with uh, this feminine Shakti. You have heard like goddess, uh, goddess. Uh, I don't know. So Chamundeshwari, Parvati, Parvati and these uh, goddesses are there in India. I have this uh, connection with them when I uh, worship and that maybe feminine energy that mm -hmm. is there and they gravitate like only like women. Maybe I am a female. <laughs> I don't know. It's not purposeful or intentional for me. I did not, did not uh, choose my clients. <laughs> True. No, no, that's very true. They choose you. No, one hundred yeah. percent. So actually, I, I I was in India when in my uh, previous job I had uh, I, I went to some beautiful places in India, uh, Mumbai. I went to um, I'm trying to Goa. I went. We were talking about Goa before we started the podcast. That's a, the, yes. the Portuguese uh, side of, of India, uh, the colonization. Um, and Kara, where's Jewish Street? Do you do you know the place where Jewish Street is? No, India is a big place, so I'm sure you're going to be like, I think, think in, uh, India Jewish, is a big place. Is it Kara? Calcutta, you are saying? No, not Calcutta? Calcutta. Not Calcutta. There was somewhere we went to, we bought some, I bought some artwork from India. I found India fascinating. Mm -hmm. One of the most diverse spectrum. Where? Diverse countries, diverse, like many, colors. So yeah. much many colors, many colors, <clears throat> abundant. Yet yeah, to see so much abundance, and yes, the complete flip side of the the spectrum, especially in Mumbai, when we went to the laundry uh, to see the laundries in 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 the mm -hmm. middle of uh, where they were pressing the towels and stuff, and you saw, ah. I saw rats the size of cats. I was like, <laughs> oh look at that cat, and they were like, that's not a cat, that's a rat. I'm like, you are absolutely <laughs> kidding me. And then to go to the opulent side of India, where yes. the uh, Taj Mahal Hotel is, is that right? Taj Mahal, yes, yes. Yeah, the, the hotel. Taj right? Hotel, yeah. Um, and it, it was funny because whenever I was there, I, I mean, I'm six foot two and three feet wide. When I went to India, I was probably about four feet wide. Indian people, they just seemed to look at me and they were just throwing babies <laughs> at me. They literally said, can you pl please pick up the child? Please pick up my child. Please pick up my child. <laughs> That's still a mystery to me today, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yes, I, I have seen you. You Right, right. You are right. <laughs> In India, it's not average height. It's yes. like huge. <laughs> and, I am huge. Uh, yeah. yeah, and personality-wise, also not, not only this height, like breadth, like broad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, I bought some artwork from a little cafe um, and it wasn't cheap artwork. It's not as cheap as I thought it was going to be. But there was, it was, there was two things that resonated with me. I'm just looking at one of them now. It's just on my wall there, and it is a red square with a black elephant. Do you have a god elephant? Yes, yes. Ganesh, Ganesha, Ganapati. What does Ganesh? I've only got. He's only got one set of arms and one long nose, one trunk. He's not got loads of hands. So which god's that one? That is Ganapati, Vinayaka, Ganapati. yeah, Ganesha, so many names. And what does he? What does? What does he resemble? What is not? Does he resemble? Uh, what does he yeah, resemble? yeah, elephant. He has face of elephant. Yes, just like my wife says about me. <laughs> and I got another piece of artwork, and I've always been fascinated about it because some people, when they look at it, it scares them. But for me, I just felt like it was this positive um, energy. But a lot of people come in and say that is a bad engine. I'm like, no, it's a positive engine. And it's a green, it's a green god. It's a green face. Okay. What you does know, it look like? You see, now you're gonna do you know what I'm gonna have to do? Right. I'm gonna mm. have to go and get the artwork, aren't I? Of course. Right. Please. Stay <laughs> do there. That. Stay there. Yeah. I'm gonna get the artwork. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> so I got this in. I just fell in love with this. Does it see where I got it? was a coffee shop. Uh huh. A coffee shop in, in India. Mm -hmm. And that's what I got. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, yeah. It's actually, it's not God. It's a uh, kind of the dance form. Yakshagana and another. Uh, one second. Ashu, Yakshagana Tarani is on the Kathakali, Kathakali. What is it? South of India, Kathakali. And is that a good god or a bad god? Uh, it must be good god only. Like we, I, I am not able to see by this, but it's actually the the makeup. Yeah, it is good only, not the fear thing, and it's I, good. I love good. it. Genuinely you have, uh, yeah, yeah, good taste. You have good taste, and it is actually that. <laughs> yeah. Kathakali, uh, that South of India, that dance form, it's, it's really beautiful and uh, you, you can just Google and... Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of the name of the place that we went because there was... Yeah, South, like, is it Kerala, Tamil Nadu? It began with a K. Okay. And it was the South <laughs> of India. It was the South... Yes, yes. Never reached shredded wheat. Southwest of, of India, below, <laughs> um, below Goa. It was either before Goa or just below Goa. <laughs> and it was beautiful. So that's where I bought the artwork. So I, I genuinely love I, I, those artworks. I just remember the coffee shop. We went to the coffee shop and we had coffee. I'm not 100% sure, sure it was it was proper coffee that we had, to be honest with you. I still remember the taste of the coffee. Um, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't Nescaf. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so if it is South, then filter coffee. Filter coffee is famous here, like in South India. Right. Okay. So that was beautiful. So I, I do remember that the, the amazing times that I had. And I, I don't know where Baroda is. Baroda. Baroda is uh, like uh, uh, like uh, Mumbai from Mumbai, like uh, what? Like six, seven hours, I guess. I'm not that good with this. So it is like adjacent to Mumbai only. It's near, near to Baroda. I mean, sorry, Mumbai. Baroda is near to Mumbai. Wow. That Thanks. border. Well, honestly, Nalini, I mean, you've got a lovely dog in the background now. I'm just noticing the dog in the background. What's yes, the yes. <laughs> He's a Shih Tzu. Oh, oh I, I've been there. I, it, there was no animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chinese breed. And, uh, you know, I want, as you, like, it's good that you, him, he's my lucky charm. After uh, this, all these things happened, like in uh, August, in August, uh, August, 13, 14th, I think. So I'm a dog lover. I love dog. And uh, my mother and husband were like, no, no, don't, no dogs. Because if you go, you are like, I love traveling. No, you, you go outside and we have to look, look after it. My mother said, no, 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 no dog. So finally, like I was in this, uh, you know, grief. And I said, like, I have to, I have to get uh, this. And I, I was stubborn. And so, like we, we brought him then. Like he was like one month baby. And uh, so, you know, uh, as uh, my son was in the uh, ICU, I could not uh, mother him. Like, I could not feed him and all that was there in me. Like, and when he came, uh, I named him uh, Chichu. And I I used to, all, he used to be always on my lap and I used to cuddle him and love him so much. Like, so finally, I got this uh, uh, channel to show my love. He is my son. Like, <laughs> you know. He was always uh, that, you know. He was also he, he. I don't like these things like they say sell these uh, uh, dogs, but still, I he he saved my life. Uh, he saved my life, and uh, he he gave me that opportunity that I I he I could uh, be a mother again. So he showed love so, so tiny. He was so small, and he showed love to me. He used to lick my face and everything he used to understand always always with me 24 by 7 we were together like sleeping together like uh, i used to embrace him always and it helped me a lot lot you know it is therapeutic for me more than anyone else so it helped me like at least 50 to 60 percent i could i could hear because of uh, chichu Beautiful. because of my pet <laughs> so that <clears throat> yes nalini Thank you so much for sharing yeah. 
that story. Yes. That is a yes. beautiful story of tragedy, getting past it, how we turn those things into positives. And I, I just think that this, that's going to resonate with so many of our listeners. Nalini, thank you so much for sharing that story. Yeah. Another thing I want to add, you know, so when we are in dark, so you have to look around you and you will see these small, small sparks of light. So you have to grab them. Don't let them go. Mm -hmm. So you have to go there. It, it will not come to you. So you, once you see this, uh, that uh, twinkling, some small, small lights, you go there and grab them and keep it near your heart and even darkness like so to uh, remove this darkness only tiny light is enough so even that huge like you are in the tunnel only light ray like small ray can uh, lit up this whole big tunnel so you have to do your work it's not that like you uh, keep your uh, hand over hand and just sit oh, okay something will happen to you like so they will come they will come no 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 one will so you have to do your work and you have to put effort you should look around and and you will get that you know sure surely 200 percent you will get whatever that uh, things that will heal you Beautiful. there is hope always there is hope and i call myself a phoenix you know i have this tattoo you can see <laughs> this phoenix oh, I've never tattoo, seen the tattoo before <laughs> yeah this is a phoenix tattoo. I call myself, you know what is phoenix, right? It is a Greek bird. Phoenix, like, yeah, rolls from the ashes. Yes. So I have all these, uh, like all my life, all like situations have come that I have burned to ashes and I have come up like alive. So I love that. That's why I put this tattoo on my, uh, this arm. So everyone, not only me, everyone is like a phoenix, you know? Everyone is like a phoenix. We all have what, what it takes to you to come out of this ashes. You have that. You have support in yourself. You believe, believe in yourself and go inward. and So that it will show you light at the end. And you should be patient. That's all. Patient and don't lose Patience heart. Patience is a virtue. Find it. If yes. You yes. Yes. It is. Patience yeah. is something a lot of people oh, struggle with. God. Yes, absolutely, Nalini. Right. This patience is a virtue. These phrases, these people, they have, like, it's so invaluable, right? Precious phrases you have. Yeah. Absolutely. Nalini, thank you yeah. so much. <clears throat> I say this, I, I, I say <laughs> this with, with the deepest <clears throat> respect. Gratitude for you sharing your story, Nalini. This is this is beautiful. I uh, I hope people get in contact with you. How can yeah. we find you? you have a YouTube channel, I do believe. Is that right? Uh, yes. Are uh, I want to tell you one thing, Kadi. I was thinking like, oh, my podcast will be like five to six minutes. It would be over. What is there to tell? Like now, I am looking at it. Oh, it's been already fifty minutes. So <laughs> I know so much. <laughs> I'm talking about no way, the lady <laughs> from the amount of conversations we've ever had. There was not a chance in the world that this conversation was going to be five minutes because Nalini doesn't know how to have a five minutes conversation. Let me tell you. Yes, and also because of Kadi, ah. you are such a, you know, you are so like uh, that uh, very good uh, conversationalist. Conversationalist, <laughs> you have that talent. You know, you can make any like stone talk. Well, I think for anybody watching this or listening to this uh, uh, podcast, we'll realize I wasn't the conversationalist on this one. I just let you talk. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank, honestly, course. Nalini, that yeah. was a beautiful chat mm -hmm. and I can't say mm -hmm. thank you enough. Uh, and to all our listeners on, on, on Monkey Mind, chatter about the chatter, absolutely get in contact. How do we get in contact with you, Nalini, if we want to? Because I know you've got a YouTube channel. You said one of your uh, videos had 100, is, is it 11,000 hits? Hare, yes, yes. That is about meditation. This meditation I did, Shambhavi Mahamudra Kriya. Yeah, my channel name is uh, Transformation, sorry, Transform Your Life with Coach Nalini. Transformation of Your no, Life no, with Nalini. Transform. Transform your life with Coach Nalini. Right. And I have this Facebook page called, uh, again, Transform Your Life 
limitless living oh limitless <laughs> oh i love that limit yes and living. on instagram limitless living underscore nalini yeah underscore nalini nalini yes thank you so much yeah and uh, i i don't know how to thank you kari yes yes no it's not about no it's me to thank you for for sharing yeah, your story no 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 it's mutual you know uh, you have because of like this the, the way you you created the space i feel safe and you know uh, that confident that i can chat with you anything you are open and uh, you are listener active listener all those things which any coach should have so thank you so 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 much and i'm so glad that finally we spoke <laughs> i mean you are you amazing you're lovely chat. you're absolutely adorable yes thank yes. you nalini thank you thank for sharing you, right uh, i'm yes. going i'm going to say nalini we have to go we have to go oh uh, yes 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 <laughs> okay okay stay exactly yeah. where you are nalini stay exactly where you are uh thank you very much to everyone listening to this uh, chatter about the chatter with our today's host nalini ashwin uh, all the way from india uh, transform your life uh, with coach nalini limitless living on instagram check her out get in contact if you want to if any of the stories especially when it comes to uh, losing family members and you would like to uh, speak to someone about that how you get through that and how you get past that nalini is clearly uh, the lady who can help you make those transformations and take you on that journey of, of dealing with grief and things like that it comes from a place of experience clearly uh, and to see where you are now nalini is is absolutely beautiful with that joy and that smile and the smile you have not only lights up the screen it lights up the world it really really does nalini thank you very much for sharing can't wait to see everybody back on the next chatter about the chatter podcast this is cuddy cud with sign out big love from me as always have a fantastic time thank you <laughs>